the fight I think it was the training um, I, I knew I weren't prepared when I went into the fight mentally I wasn't prepared physically I was fitter than what I've ever been yeah uh, but I lost I lost quite a bit of weight down to 16-4 which I didn't think was going to be a problem but I think what was going on the out, on the outside of life that really affected me yeah uh, things, things on the outside can affect you yeah yeah, yeah. so I mean I, I, well, obviously you know, I pulled out the second fight due to that G- it gave me time to sort it all out um, I think it's probably the best it's ever been that I'm focused and I feel, I feel, I feel brilliant because I'm coming to training and that's all I'm thinking about, it's brilliant. So. No, well, I was there at your fight and yeah. I've been around while you've been training and we've had a few um, you know, rounds of that like, and uh, I'd watched you out on the pads and that and I'd seen how sharp you jagged, I'd seen how sharp you were right? mm. and I, I thought standing tall, doing everything, yeah. everything right when you went into that ring, and this is this is just my perspective, Roy, you done, in my eyes, a lot of things wrong. You went back mm. to the old unlicensed days yeah, yeah. because you were standing tall, mm. right, when you were sparring and doing all that. Great jab, everything lovely. Yeah. When you went in there, it, I, I even changed for your height, for your height, because you, yeah. you crunched down. And that's how we used to be able to take advantage of you when we used to spar. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's because you, you'd come down to my, my size, mm-hmm. right? And you, you seem to do that, even though when when your man did stop you, you had thrown a fucking cracking combination. Yeah, you yeah. just got caught, yeah. you just got caught, really. I, I don't think what it was, because, you know, I thought, before the fight, I was going to go and take him. I thought, you know, I'm going to go kill this man for the stuff that's going on in my life. It didn't work out all that, so I've gone in for the shot the same, I've watched the video, it was the same shot twice, and it just went, even, even my pal said, that weren't you fighting Duff, do you know what I mean, so, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm happy now, I mean, I'm probably the happiest place I've ever been in, I feel brilliant, and I, I can't, I'm, I'm actually, I'm actually excited for this next fight. So, when's your next fight, Mark? It's March 29th at the Ground, yeah. Okay, yeah, so tell start. me how his promotions, yeah. you know what I mean, so you're back there, so you're going to, you're going to um, kill a lot of demons, ain't I'll you really? I'll tell you that. And you know, I owe it to myself, and, and, and that's what I'm looking for. You know, I'm, I'm going out there to know that I've, that, I've, that I'm fully prepared for this fight, and I'm not leaving anything unturned. I'm going through. Well, uh, uh, how's training going at the moment? It's brilliant. I'm, I'm actually, I mean, I mean, I've, I mean, used to me training last year. I'd come in January, February. You know, ups and downs. I do two or three rounds, and you know, emotionally beating and stuff. Um, last last time the training was terrible, to be fair. But now it's, I'm just. I'm just cracking on with it. There's, there's nothing on my mind. I'm really enjoying it, and I, I can see I can see myself getting better every day, and that's what's you know. Oh, that that's great to hear because uh, I I know we've fought on the unlicensed yeah. thing, but ever since then, when you come to fight then, um, and then you've turned over to pro, I've done everything I can to yeah. to, to help you and promote you and to help you in your training. Mm-hmm. Um, Oh, nothing but respect for you, you know what I mean? Anyone who can stop me, you know what I mean? He's, he's, he's a tough guy, he's doing my eyes, you know what I mean? But, um, yeah, um, so it's the tw- 29th of March, 29th of March. Yeah. Um, do, do you know who you're fighting yet? No, not at the moment, no. no. But I, 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 a four-rounder? Well, it's going to be a four-rounder, but I think I'm going to be that mentally prepared and physically prepared, or, or it could be anybody, I don't care. But I know the training I'm going to take in. I'm just going to take the training in, I'm going to do what I've been taught. That's well, it. I'm not going to try anything stupid and do things that I, that I don't know what to do. I'm just going to go in there and do it and put my training to work. That's fantastic. And like, like I said, like, well, yeah, there was one I see I, on, on your last fight, I did see some of your old trades come, yeah. come in. And if you can brush them aside, yeah. fight your height, fight the way I've seen you train. Mm. You know what I mean? I reckon you're going to do really well. And just keep everything positive, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like things can affect us. 
everyone, yeah. it's just this time, focus on this fight, get this win. Yeah. I really, I'm, out of all the boxers that I talk to, I really want to see you win this fight and progress. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because I love seeing unlicensed fighters, you know mm. what I mean? Have, you haven't had that pedigree, no. you haven't had that spoon, spoon feeding, you yeah. know what I mean? Not saying that all amateur boxers get that, but a lot of them do, you know what I mean? Um, so I'd love to see a lot of cane maker, people like that, yeah. you know what I mean? Unlicensed boxer, you know, Midlands area champion. Yeah, you know okay. I mean? Ishmael yeah. as well, you know what I mean? Yeah. He was, he was, he, he lost the cane, but two unlicensed fighters, you know mm. what I mean? It, it can happen, and I like to see it happen. Right, so I wish you all the best. Um, is there anything you want to say to uh, any sponsors or anyone who's following you? I just want to say, you know, thanks for all your support. Um, and I promise I'm going to be back this year stronger than ever. And I'm, I'll, I'll say I'm so happy. I'm, I feel determined and focused more than any, than, 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 ever, than I've ever been. I feel I feel brilliant in myself, and I'm going to put the weight back on. I mean, 16-4 in my last fight. I'm 17-4 now. Um, you know, I want to get up to about 79 and um, that's when I feel strong and confident. So I'm going to go in and take some of the part, mate. Everyone, Sean Duffy. Sean. Awesome, Dix. Oh, mate. Well, Sean, uh, it looks ready. Um, sparring, he's on top. He's, uh, he's training really hard for this fight. Uh, I was there at his first fight where he, where he got stopped. Um, he had a lot of problems um, leading up to it, like he, he touched on in the uh, interview. Uh, he done a lot of things wrong, in my opinion. Uh, it didn't last long, uh, but I'm sure he's going to rectify all that. He says he's in a better place now, and uh, that's all you need to be. And uh, I can see him getting his first W and moving on and getting some good wins behind his belt, like. Uh, can't wait, uh, 29th of March, um, Villa Park, Sean Duffy. <laughs> Tell me something I don't know. Tell me something I don't know. No, no. Tell me something I don't know. Tell me something I don't know. No, no. Tell me something I don't know. Tell me something I don't know. No, no. Tell me something I don't know. Tell me something I don't know. Yo. Tell me